Sleeper here, and welcome back to LEGO Worlds. And today, we are checking out more super duper late Christmas stuff. This video might not even go out by the new year, depending on how much time I had to, you know, upload it and everything. But there is actually a really cool thing going on where they showcased, where are the actual community brick builds? I actually totally forgot. Uh, it should be in here. Uh, or am I looking at the wrong thing? I might be looking at the wrong thing. Uh, yes, I am. But there's a lot of community-made brick builds that they included in the game this time, which is super cool and exciting, if you ask me. So we're gonna check out a lot of those. That'll be the main focus of today, is all the showcase models, because they've never really done that before. Where they've added a lot of community-made stuff. So we're gonna be doing a lot of building, and hopefully the game doesn't crash because of it, because sometimes it sort of does. Um, but this seems to be some kind of like nice little log cabin, maybe a gigantic gingerbread house or something. I'm not really sure if we're gonna be able to find anything that's unlockable in these. It would be nice if we could, if they sprinkled that in, because there were some stuff in the Christmas trailer that you know some people were saying will be added eventually that hasn't been added yet, like the little Christmas fairy, unless I was getting that wrong and they could find that somewhere else. Oh, I just placed another one right on top of it. I thought I'd press back. All right, well, we got two that are building. <laughs> I hate it when I do that. Oh, uh, yep. goodbye house. Goodbye house I just built. Oh gosh. Well, while that's building, I'll take a look at what else we got, because we got a showcase model there. There should be a couple all over the place. We have showcase model 46, 48, and 55, 49. It's not telling me I've checked these out. I mean, it's telling me that I have checked them out, but I haven't, so I don't know what's going on there. But there's a couple things. There's also like a toy house somewhere, or like a toy store. So there's a lot of cool stuff. I'll have to browse through it to make sure we check out just about everything. But, um, okay, now we have this house properly built on top of another house. Oh, I like this so far. It's a little bit dark in this area. But, uh, what's inside here? Not much. I think the other house is sort of glitching into it, but... Oh, well. <laughs> this is not a good start, is it? I don't see... Oh, man. Okay, we might have to worry about this one later, then. Can I get out of here? This one's like... It takes a while. It's really big. They've included a lot of super huge builds. Oh, the giant Christmas tree might be cool. Let's try that out. I'm waiting to see. A lot of people told me that in the Christmas char, the, the character that looks like Santa is actually a custom character. They didn't include Santa as an actual unlockable character, which is really surprising to me. But yeah, we found, I'm pretty sure we found everything in the Christmas area, so we should be fine beyond that, but wow, look at this thing go. It's very pretty. They show some really well-made community builds, so. It does take a while to build everything, but it's worth it, it's worth it. Oh, it's so icy too, it's like an ice rink. I know they have this in New York City. Uh, there's like a giant Christmas tree and then there's a giant ice rink in the center. Oh my, <laughs> some trees are within the tree. But this is pretty cool. It, I don't see any kind of uh, custom stuff for this one. This one actually looks brick by brick built. There's like no custom or like items that you can find in game, which is really crazy when you think about it. That is a very dedicated build. And I like the little streamers going down. It's a really nice one. I like that. Okay, so we're definitely gonna have to give enough room to uh, build the next one, which should be, there's another Christmas tree for that one then. We don't wanna do two Christmas trees in a row. This one, I don't know, it sort of looked big in the preview, but it's not that big. Okay, good. Will that get rid of the trees? It should, at least for all the space we need. It should cover them up. Okay, good. Oh, hey, we got something new there. I don't know why, but I'll take it. This is really cool. I like, this is a nice little cottage, like a nice little Christmas house. Can we go inside? Hello, space lady is here to say hello. Oh my, there's a lot of stuff I don't have in here. I mean, some of it I do, like the, the, the piano I don't, the grand piano. Yeah, there's not too much going on in this building, but it's very, very nice, it's cozy. What is this? Oh, I think it's a little uh, hand lift, the fork lift, whatever they call those. Then a bunch of tiny white windows. Is that all? It's actually, it looks bigger on the outside. But I love that, that's such a cozy little home. We I mean, don't need big elaborate homes for it to be enjoyable. Do I have you? I should have you. Yep, sorry if I said boy, you're in my way. <laughs> you wanna see a giant snowman? Uh, we'll, we'll definitely do the giant snowman, don't worry. Let me move over here. I'm trying to make some more room. Was there a giant snowman? Yes, if there is, I wanna check it out. But, uh, oh yeah, the giant snowman that took like multiple things to build. Where is that? That's over here. This took so long. I think we're gonna have to like, I don't know if the game will let us because I've never tried it, but make multiple builds at once. Oh my, that is gonna take a while. This thing took forever to download. It's huge, so it might take us a moment. It's actually so big that it's a two-parter. You need to download two separate things. Oh my gosh, I'm inside of it. Okay, what happened? 
Wow, it actually built really quickly then. Let me talk to Balloon Lady then. Cause you're here and never know when you'll disappear. Well, I guess when night ends. Do you have anything? I'll buy the fish, then I'll buy this plate. But I should have all these other things. It's always good to have a couple extra of everything. There you go. Goodbye. <laughs> See you next time. Uh, so let's uh, go through the first half of the snowman. I would try to build one on top of the other, but I know I'm gonna mess it up. So I'm not gonna worry about it. So inside the snowman, we start with some floating Christmas trees. Oh no, these were the trees that were, ah, so these are the trees that were standing here already. So we'll just have to mentally ignore those. I love this, you can sit down with the snowman. You can sit by the fireplace. Wow, this is like a giant snowman hotel. That is so cool. Whoa, okay. I got teleported up here. <laughs> Ouch, face plant. So maybe I should have spawned this in in a better area. Like we need to find a more open area. Maybe I should have uh, done that at the flatlands or something. Uh, there we go. But it's easier just to load into a world I've already been in so that the game doesn't crash. Got it. Oh yeah. Okay, then we'll go and do this. There's a lake over here that should have enough room, I would hope. We might have to put it over the lake, but I don't think anybody's gonna miss the lake, right? I hope not. Hope I don't have a whole bunch of people petitioning me like, we want the lake back. Okay, put it here. I'm surprised with the... How long, uh, how little this took, comparatively to how gigantic it is. Especially, I guess it really isn't always about the size as much as it is the contents. Cause the house looked like it maybe had like more stuff packed into it, the big house that we accidentally built over immediately. Okay, go through here and now we're doing a lot better. Okay, this is really cool. It does definitely feel like a, um, a ground floor to a hotel. We can get up here. Oh wow, the floor is like a giant snowflake. There's a lot of attention to detail here. Oh, that is so nice. We got ourselves a statue room with a gingerbread man and a, a reindeer, I think and an elf and Santa and a snowman. There's multiple snowmen within the snowman, yes. Okay, uh, oh, and there's more Christmas trees. It's very Christmassy in here, I really like it. The presents, don't know what's gonna be inside of this. Oh, there's a couple things I haven't discovered in here. That's the wrong thing to discover them though, so don't use that. This is really cool, I like this. It's like a little kitchen area. Everybody in the hotel, the Christmas hotel, can get their wonderful food. Wow, this is really nicely made. It feels like a kitchen. The lighting and everything's just perfect. I'm, this might be my favorite build yet, and we're not done with it. There's a second part to it, because I guess it was too big to fit all in one. So if we go next to the lake here, I can go to the Model 56, and this is the top half of it. So I'm gonna try to build this somewhere good. Uh, Here, that should be okay. Yeah, I would make a small flat world, it just sometimes that takes forever, so I thought that, you know, it would be fine. We'll have to see. Let's get up here. See, this is obviously supposed to be connected. And we can climb up, up, up. I'm just gonna do an awful job trying to connect it. So I didn't wanna, you know, risk it. But even then, you can see that there's actually some more I missed over here. I guess you could have gone into the Christmas present. So I'll have to explore the other part of the snowman. Come on, get up on top of the Christmas tree. Luckily, we're excellent at parkour. Yeah, there's actually a lot more to explore. So where does this building lead? Were we supposed to come in from the present or something? Oh, wow, yeah, it's a little, a little secret corner over here. You're inside of the present. Oh, this is so cool. You're like a little nutcracker or something. You got a sign, that's really nice. A little chest of toys for the adventurous type. What is that actually? Uh, Candy crate, ah, okay, it's not toys, it's candy. Just as good, just as good. So we could actually go up here and, and this is where we connect the head. Uh, trying to go inside. Oh wow, it's like a nice little balcony and everything. Can we go inside the backpack? Oh, the backpack is where the kitchen is. Oh, that's so cool. All right, so we'll just imagine that that is connected to here and his head connects to the uh, the tree over here. Is that the only way to get in? It looks like it. Um, Because you're supposed to be coming in from, I guess, the other end. But we'll just sort of do it backwards so that we can get in correctly. Because we can, oh, we can climb up to the top like that. That's so cool. This is such a good build. I've never seen a build this good in this game before. It's crazy. But yeah, this is the bottom of it. So that th these ladders right here is where we would come in from. And then, ah, this is nice. These guys are chilling out in here. All right, we already have them. Just had to make extra sure. But this is a cozy little area as well. It feels like it'd be very cold in this hotel. The Snowman Hotel has very freezing degrees because it's made out of snow, what do you know? 
and then you get to go on his nose, and then you can just climb up to the top of the hat. That might take the cake from my favorite build today. I really don't think we'll find anything that tops that, but we'll definitely be looking, because I have a couple more things we gotta do. Like, oh, we, ha we do need to show up the robot cage. We'll show that off afterwards, though. This is a weird one. This one's just like a little tower. So I can put this near a tree. I think it will be fine. But this is, I think there's actually multiple pieces to this one. It's like a, a put together castle. We'll see in just a moment. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if there's, oh, I did it again. Quickly adventure before it builds over. There's actually really not too much here though. It, it really does seem to be sort of more of an aesthetic build, not something you really wanna go in and explore, but more you wanna put into your world if you're looking for that kind of like destroyed castle look. I like it. Good build, but uh, don't need to explore too much. Wow, that looks like a whole skiing center. That one might take forever and a half to build. Um, This one looks like it could be smaller. Uh, it's taking a while. Oh yeah, that's not too bad. See this I like this builder actually provided like a little ground plate for it so that way it's just easier to place down like that. That's always a smart idea. Oh man. That's a lot of building. That's a lot of bricks. It's a cool little house. I like these little cozy cottages. Oh and I just I swear that I exited out of it. Okay. Well, how much of it is explorable? <laughs> half the house. Here's her half a house, sir. At least it gives me some easy studs. Man, I don't know why it does that. It's a little glitchy. So while that's building, I'm just gonna find another place to build this one. I, I personally don't have a world where I build. I usually just like to explore in this game a lot. Eventually I should probably make a building world, especially if we stream this game more. It would be fun to do some streams where we just focus on building. But I'm more of an explorer for most of this and I like just showing off all the content you can get. Um, so how large is this? So that we can explore one thing while the other thing is building. Cause I'm pretty sure this thing is going to be gigantic. So if we could find like a corner, how big is this gonna be? I don't know, it's taking forever to load, I'm getting nervous. <laughs> oh wow, that is huge. Okay, um, I'll put it here. And I think that'll be okay. I think that one tree that's in the way will be built over. It's not about, um, It's not about the ones that are going to be covered up, it's about the empty spaces. That's where the tree sticks around. Oh, we don't have this door? Well, I'm about to change that. I try to get as many pieces as I can so that if I ever do start building, not messing out on anything. All right, I think we got everything there. The world is sort of glitching out because we're still building, but uh, okay, I like this sound. It's once again, not a very big house. We almost, I guess it's maybe not supposed to be anything more than that. I think it's supposed to be like a viewing piece where you only see the front half of it. That's an interesting idea. A nice way to cut down on time for building is just to make it so that it's sort of an angle kind of thing. I guess you would sort of line these houses up so that it looks like a town, like the little bridge so that you have a nice little sofa. Oh, that's cute. That is really cute. I wish it was a full house, but it is not. And it's definitely not because I started building the other thing because this actually finished building before I was done with that. So I thought that I actually, the, I cut off the building of that house not actually the case because it just is just half a house. Hmm. Okay. So what is this? This looks like it's supposed to be like a big skiing lodge or something. It sort of looks like a miniaturized version of that, which is really cool. Like look at this tiny little bridge staircase kind of thing. That is really cool. So there's not too much detail to this one, but the scope of it's pretty cool. I think it's supposed to sort of be like a skiing mountain. That's why I really wish there were some snowboards or skis in this game because I don't think they have any. That's a nice one though. Not too much to really show off or say about it. And then I think this big Christmas tree is the last of the showcase models, except for the one that we messed up. So I'll build the Christmas tree. Should be able to build that. Yep, this is a pretty small one. So I can build that there. While that is building, I will get this over here. There definitely won't be any trees. Uh. Maybe there will be. <laughs> this thing is just so huge, it's crazy. You can't have it off the world a little bit or it'll be weird. There you go. That should be good enough. Oh, the balloon lady's back. Does she have any new balloon things? Uh, well, we'll buy a couple of these. I mean, I have so many studs at this point, like buying anything's really not that big of a deal. I don't think there's anything that'll be too expensive for me to buy. 
I mean, unless I just buy so many of one thing that I run out of money, but I'd have to do that for a while. I think I could totally buy her out a couple times before I could get anywhere close to that. Anyways, this is a nice little Christmas tree. Some presents at the bottom. Pretty similar to the other one, a very nice brick by brick build. No custom pieces in it. Maybe the presents. No, I think the presents are also. That's a very nice custom build then. And then finally, we'll check out this house and then we'll check out like, I know there's the uh, toy store and then the robot cage because that was just randomly added to the game. So this is the proper exploration of this cottage without another cottage being built on top of it. A lofty attic, beautiful. Oh my, oh my. A staircase that's very challenging to go down. Yeah, okay, so this one actually doesn't have too much on the inside and no way out from down here. So I guess more than anything, it's more of a first floor and a basement. Hmm. Okay, so let's make our way out there. So yeah, that one wasn't too crazy. The outside of it is fantastically built, but you know, that's not always a bad idea because then, you know, whoever the, you know, the person who spawns it in can make it whatever way they please. They can fill it up with their own stuff, which is always pretty cool. Okay, so there should be, yeah, just a couple non, uh, what's it called, uh, community made builds that we should be checking out that are new. I just need to find them. Not exactly sure where some of them are, but I can search for them. So let's go to the, no wait, I think it was just called a toy shop or something. So I'll type in toy and see if we can't find it. Yup, there it is, the toy shop. This is cool, this is another one. And of course, these are only available for a limited time, so you wanna make sure you grab them as soon as you can. If you haven't followed the Lego World's Twitter, I suggest it, because they always tweet these things out and make it super obvious when on. There you go. Yeah, there are stuff like the Golden Dragon that cost a million. They are definitely expensive. I don't think there's anything that costs more than a million. Because I have unlocked the dragon, or at least I've, uh, I've uh... oh, hey! Look at you, you're a robot. <laughs> Hello. Uh, oh gosh, we have to save him. I'm not ready for this, I'm not prepared. Uh, beat him up. I'm not prepared for this. I gotta use my ninja skills, my space ninja. Oh gosh, these guys are mean. I'm just fist fighting a bunch of robots. I'm not prepared. I wish I knew that we were gonna fight, but hey, I did it. Look at you. Okay, I got a cool robot. You know what? I wanna be you for the rest of the episode. Oh wow, and there's a chest over there. We're definitely gonna grab that. But first, I'm becoming a robot, because I've been this character last episode as well. I wish there was a search button for the robot, because it might take me a moment to find him. Uh, Mr. Robot, where are you? Here you are, robot. Is it the same robot as you are? I feel like the evil robots looked a little bit different, but I might be wrong. Anyway, so he walked off. But yeah, this is the toy shop. This is included in the Christmas one. I thought for a moment, I was like, is this from the other one? But I guess it isn't. <laughs> All right, that was a lot of stuff there. It was like 100,000. Okay, very cool. That's very Christmassy. There's just a robot waiting for you inside of there. I mean, like a Christmas toy robot. We got some Wally looking things. I guess they're supposed to be like little, I don't know, goggles? Like toy robots, probably. It looks like Wally. Okay. Oh, cool. We got a cash register. And I think that's just about everything I need to find here. Let's go ahead and. Oh, wait. I want to get the sign because the signs are cool. You can make your own toy shop with this sign. That's nice. And then finally, we'll show all show off the last one. If I can look at all those new toy related things we have. Where's that robot cage? I think it's pretty far down. Mm, oh, there it is, robot cage. Now we can put ourselves in the cage because we're currently playing as a robot. There we go. Um. Okay. Oh, hey, there is another robot. I think this is another bad guy robot, but this time I have to defeat him. This time I'm ready though. I can pull out a weapon <laughs> like a skeleton fish. Oh, I can throw this? I'd rather not. <laughs> I don't know if that'll waste it. Okay, I'll just get the space blaster out and then I'm gonna open this if I can. Wow, he's evil. He's just out for destruction. There we go. There we go. Get the space blaster out and go for him. Come on. Okay, wait, what? It gave me the exclamation mark, like if I defeat him, he's gonna let me unlock him. I thought he was like a different kind of robot. Maybe he wasn't? <laughs> okay, that was weird. But hey, you know, I could always respawn it and see. But for now, let me purchase a bunch of this. This is definitely not Christmas-like, but it is robot related, so in some degree, it's relevant, right? <laughs> Okay then, so we found a bunch. I'll try to spawn this in one more time to see if I can't beat up and unlock that robot because I'm pretty sure it was a slightly different, darker robot. Uh, put that there. 
And, okay, so yeah, he's definitely new. I think I just gotta open up the door and just punch him. Oh, look at my robot jabbing moves. I'm just spinning around. I like how some characters do fight a little bit differently. It's fun. Oh boy, oh boy, I can't say it's a cage fight. Everybody, you get ready for a cage fight of your dreams. Who's gonna win, Robot 1 or Robot 2? Oh my, oh my, got him. No, that definitely doesn't unlock anything. Hmm, that's a shame, I don't know how to get him then. Or maybe I could have gotten him, like usually that's how it is, right? It, usually how it works that once you beat them up, maybe now, or, that didn't work. Oh, I think I purchased a rock. <laughs> Awkward. Yeah, maybe I could just do this a, a third time now and just discover him normally. No, wait, evil robot. You just can't. That's really weird. All right, well, if it doesn't work this time, I'll give up. <laughs> Always giving up. But yeah, this was fun. There was a lot of community showcase builds. Hopefully they showcase more of them. Hopefully 2018, because this might be the first episode of LEGO Worlds in 2018 or the last episode of LEGO Worlds in 2017. Regardless, hopefully LEGO Worlds has a bright future ahead of it in 2018. Hopefully we see more DLC like the survival DLC and much more after that because I feel like this game could have a great life ahead of itself. It's not working. But well, that's where we'll finish it off for today's episode of LEGO Worlds. If you watched this funny video, make sure you comment Robot Zebra so I know you've watched the end and that you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.